All right, so the first thing we want to do is select this default cube, press X, delete, shift A, and we're going to add a curve. Let's use a busier curve in this example. Right, so we can obviously press S5 to scale it up and make it a little bit, little bit larger, and we can press tab and go into edit mode, and we can select any of these points here. In fact, we could even select the whole thing, right click and subdivide, create more points, or we could select a specific point on this busier curve, and we could press G, move it around, or we could press E to extrude a new point. And we can obviously press R and rotate the shape however we like. But we can also do this, and this is quite interesting. We can go to the object data properties of this curve, go to the geometry tab, and what we've used in the past is we used another curve to shape our thing. Let me show you. So in the past, this is what we did. We'd create a circle over here, and then we'd press tab, ooh, control Z, tab object mode we'll shift a curve circle we we'll create a circle over here and this is what we would do we would click object and you'd select the other bezier curve and then you would select the circle and you just press s and scale this down and you would have a more or less a perfect circle that follows this path which is pretty cool but instead of doing this I thought, why not do something else? Let's press X to delete that. Let's um, click on round and just increase the depth. So let's say we want it to be this. Oh, let's make it one. One's a bit too much. Let's make it 0 0.1. Okay, that's good enough for this example. Uh, I'm just going to press tab, go into edit mode and just rotate this so it doesn't look so broken. There we go. That looks a little bit cleaner. So we literally can make the thickness here. We can also fold the caps if we want, which is quite cool. And we can also up the resolution to make it look a lot smoother. But yeah, something cool. Yeah, by profile, you can bevel your own unique shape. Now this is one quarter of this entire object. So it's one side. And whatever you do to the one side, it will do to the rest. So we could do something like this. And we could just pull this like that. And we could create an interesting beveled pipe shape. Let's take a look at this. So if you want to make a custom bevel with the curve, this is exactly how you do it. If you don't like your shape, you can always reset the curve and you can start again. And you can have loads of fun with this. And yeah, I think you get the idea. Once you've got a shape that you like, you can just press tab, go into object mode. And currently the symbol is a curve. You just have to click on object, convert to mesh. And now the object is a mesh. And the first thing you probably want to do is add a solidify. Give it some thickness. And once you've given it some thickness, Object data properties, normals, auto smooth at 30. Take a closer look. Are we happy with this? Yep, we are. And just like that, we've created an interesting bevel. Right click, shade smooth. We created an interesting bevel using the curve. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.